What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome, 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 movies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, free, for future readings. This is um, Oracle card reading for the month of April of 2022. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, World Family, and Hammer, Jupiter chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading for sign of Aquarius. Um, I just want to let you guys know that um, uh, I just heard cry again. Oh, okay. I got feminine. I heard cry again. Um, I just want to, oh, okay. Um, I just want to let you guys know that um, this is for the month of April. Yes, but everybody is on different time and life paths. Um, there's millions, billions of people in the world and tons of Aquariuses. So, um, for some of you guys, even we've got 11 days left still in March. So for some of you guys, it, some of these messages, if they do resonate with you, one, one, two, or all of them possibly, they might could resonate in March because we still have 11 days left in March. Um, or they could resonate in April or further out because there's tons of people in the world. So, you know, everybody's on different time and life paths. So I just want to make that clear, okay? Spirit messages, you have to sign up Aquarius. Um, I got a couple downloads in as I was meditating on your oracle card reading for the month of April of 2022. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I just heard take it, but I got all these other ones. So this is not like Capricorns. Capricorns, it was, they were flying out everywhere. Whoa. I think somebody's so emotional. I'm just saying. Um, spirit messages you have a sign of Aquarius. Okay. Um, but... What I was going to say is um, the channel messages I received. And the messages I received was uh, Reiki Master is what I heard. Reiki Master. I heard one of you guys is a Reiki Master. And one, you're about to visit a Reiki Master. Um, and then it was about 30 seconds after I heard that. I heard um, a very particular um, Aquarian energy that has practiced in dark arts for a very long time um, is about to visit a spiritual practitioner. Um, they think they have a um, curse, um, um, not a curse, I'm sorry, a um, curse that um, they think they have a curse on them. But I heard they're about to learn they do not have a curse on them. It was because of the negative choices they have made in the past. Um, this Aquarius is about to be shocked. Is what I heard. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That is so strong, man. So um, you, I mean, everybody's on different time of life paths. So you only take the messages that resonate. Um, are you are you light side? Are you dark side? I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay. But one of you guys is a Reiki master. Congratulations. Uh, one day I want to be a Reiki master. I'm just saying it. That is so amazing. I, my hats off to you. That is. I love it. I love it. I love it. One day I want to be to that level. I'm just saying. I'm not anywhere near it now, but I will. I want to be. I'm just saying. Um, and one of you guys is about to visit a Reiki master. So one of you guys, you you are a Reiki master, sir, ma'am. One, you're about to visit a Reiki master, and one uh, uh, is a very very dark side Aquarian. I heard they have practiced dark arts for a long time. So I'm feeling like years. I'm thinking years. Um, I heard they're about to visit a spiritual practitioner um, because they think they have a curse on them. They think someone placed a curse on them. But I heard um, they're about to be shocked and re realize that there is no curse on them. That it was basically from poor choices they have made in the past. So um, whoever this Aquarian is, it could if it's not you, it could be another Aquarian you're connected to. They could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or no Midheaven, or Jupiter charts, but it's definitely a dark side Aquarian. Uh, um, I'm telling you, for real. Um, or they used to be a dark side Aquarian. However, that resonates. Um, they could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or no Midheaven, or Jupiter charts. I find that message very interesting. Um, but they practice dark arts for a long time, whether they still practice it now or, or they don't. But it sounds like negative crap has already started happening in their life. And that's what's about to, and more, maybe more is about to possibly, maybe for some of them, but it's about to prompt them to go visit a spiritual practitioner. I mean, it's about to be that bad is what it sounds like. 
sounds like negative karma is has piled up in their life is what i'm saying and so much so they're about to cut time out of their own personal time in life to go visit a spiritualist um it sounds like a high level spiritualist um just saying um but i heard they're about to find out that there is no curse on them they think they have a curse on them there is no curse on them it is basically just the negative choice that they have made in their life so you plug it in how it resonates now for those of you that are not familiar what a reiki master is i know one of you guys is a you are a reiki master so you know but of course but for everybody's on different paths so for the ones that don't know what reiki masters are a reiki master is someone who has been attuned to the highest level of reiki the attunement process opens up your body okay so they attune your chakras there's seven chakras on your body they attune your chakras basically if you're not sure what chakras are you can google search chakras okay there's seven chakras on your body they align your chakras okay um or supposed to help align your chakras so that you're able to transmit healing energy and last you for your entire life you can take a course to learn reiki levels one two and three there's three levels um just saying just saying so for anybody who didn't know um so yeah interesting beaver spirit lay a solid foundation mouth spirit tend to the small things number six or 40 can be very significant numbers in one's life six or 40 it could be possible age of viewers somebody you're connected to possible lottery number possible day of birth number possible green card number possible social security card number possible jersey number six or 40 um for um whatever aquarius is possibly for some of you guys i feel you're heavily dealing with earth sign energy because you have got double earth sign energy double deuces here earth sign energy uh, so I feel you might be heavily dealing with the Taurus Capricorn Virgo. If you are, they could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth Moon, and Him to Jupiter charts. If you are Aquarius, for some you could be dealing possibly with two or more Taurus Capricorn Virgos. I mean, heavy Earth sign energy. Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. A younger Aquarius is about to save up to buy a home. It'd be very smart to cut out the extracurricular things to save up for the down payment. It will really benefit you in the long run. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, this is a good one. So if this resonates for you, younger Aquarian, I heard um, now younger in the tarot um, is usually at 35 or below um you know well 25 or below but i there's a 35 uh, like a 26 to 39 gray area so i have been deeming it 35 or below just to make it easy breezy on everybody but you plug this person in however they resonate could be you or somebody you're connected to i'm feeling they might be 35 or below but um i heard they're saving up for to buy a home they're saving to buy a home but apparently they love to go out and they love to spend money on extracurricular things extracurricular things and who doesn't I mean, I'm just being pro pro. Who doesn't? But you also have to learn how to be responsible and mature with your money as well. Um, and whoever this is, it doesn't sound like it sounds like they're young. I heard they're younger, so I think they're younger. I think they might be in their twin like early twenties for a lot of you guys. I think you might be in your early twenties. Maybe you hadn't even made it to twenty yet. Um, but you want to buy a home. But it sounds like I heard to be smart to basically cut out some of your extra whatever the crap you do um whether you get your nails done every two days every week which i've never got my nails done but however long you know whatever i'm just using an example i don't judge anybody or maybe you go out to the bar three times a week or you or you go to the bar and you order 40 hot wings maybe you should only order 10. i mean you, you know what i'm saying i mean whatever it is you do i'm just using those as an example kind of cut back a little bit to save up for their down payment Whoever you are, I feel you want to go in there and get a loan with no down payment. But let me tell you, I bought, I'm a homeowner and I've been a homeowner for many years. It is not smart not to go in there with no down payment. Yes, there are ways that you can do that. But it benefits you much, much better down the line if you have a down payment. I mean, you can take the advice or leave it, but I'm just saying, okay? So, um, and it was spiritual download was it'd be smart to save up for the down payment. I feel you want to, you know, go to the bar three, four times, get all your nails done, get your hair did, um, 
whatever, whatever it is you do, um, go to the game five times a week or whatever, but you don't want to spend the money for the down payment. So, I mean, of course you have that choice to make. You don't have to spend the money on the down payment, but if I'm telling you right now from a financial perspective, it is definitely smart to do that from a homeowner's perspective. I'm telling you right now. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So laying a solid foundation is basically, um, the down payment energy in this situation, um, putting the down payment, um, down to help lower your, um, rate in your payment. And I'm serious. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Mouth spirit, of course, you can take it or leave it. Okay. Let's see if I hear anything else. One younger Aquarian is about to get married as well. You have a history of cheating. It would not be smart with this individual. Someone needs to hear this. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. A, a lot of younger Aquarian energy in here. You plug it in how it resonates. So a younger Aquarius, I'm feeling 35 or below, or they want to get married. Or I feel for some, you're already engaged. For some, you might uh, get proposed too soon. For some, you might be the proposer. But however that resonates, I feel you're definitely 35 or below. I heard you want to get married soon. So, um, but I heard whoever you're with right now, I heard it wouldn't be smart. So meaning, I don't think they like open relationships. I don't think they like, um, they don't like open relationships. They don't like, they like to be the only one. They like monogamous relationships. So if you get just a little knowledge, younger Aquarian, It'd be very smart to get to know this person before you put a ring on it. And I'm just being real, for real, because I mean, this person doesn't like that. So if you get into this marriage legally binding contract and they don't want anybody in their marriage, i.e. open marriages, polygamous relationships, et cetera, et cetera, and you put a ring on it and you're legally binded to them in a legally, marriage, uh, legally binding marriage contract and you cheat on them, you might have a visit to the courthouse when they divorce your ass for infidelity. So, you know, I'm just being real with you, okay? So, I heard you have a long history of cheating. So, it wouldn't be smart with this person. They're not into cheating. So, you really need to contemplate that before you put a ring on it or you allow somebody to put a ring on it. And I'm serious about that, okay? Whoever you are, masculine or femme, younger Aquarian. Because I'm telling you, if you, you get into this with this person and you go around cheating on their butt and they find, like, cheater's energy... You're probably going to have a tower moment up in the courthouse. And I'm serious about that. Whoever that's for. Um, you could take the advice or leave it, okay? Holy crap, man. Mouth spirit, tend to the small things. A particular Aquarian... is about to have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things in their life soon come up just out of the blue. Things you would have never expected that need to be done. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, whoever you are, um, you can be masculine or femme, older or younger, whoever you are, but it sounds like there's about to be a lot of things about to just pop up, like out of the blue, like, Things you would I heard things you would have never expected. So I mean, boom, boom, boom. It's like out of the blue, just out of the freaking blue. Like maybe the refrigerator breaks, or maybe the washer, um, uh, maybe the washer breaks down. Maybe you've got a freaking pipe exploding in your home. Maybe you got a pipe exploding in your yard. I've had that happen twice, just saying. Um, or however that resonates. Um, I actually had that happen more than twice. Um, the pipe exploding in my yard. Um, true story. Um, I don't know. Whatever it is, it just—it sounds like it's about to just pop up, 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 pop up. Just things you would have never expected. Whatever the crap they are. Um, so I'm thinking, ten to the small things is you know, don't let them go. Whoever you are, don't let them go, or at least too many of them go. Because if you let too many of them go, it's going to create possible problems down the line. You know, um, whatever it is. And now, whatever it is in one's life, okay?
For some, it's serious relationship problems. For some, it is definitely home issues. Home issue after home issue after home issue after home issue. For some, it is serious work problems. Serious. Oh my gosh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. So some of you guys, it's serious, serious, serious work issues. Whatever the crap those are, you plug it in your life how it resonates. Some, it is definitely home issues, I heard. Um, and it sounds like a lot of them. Whatever they are, I didn't hear specifically what they were. I gave you examples of what they, I thought they could be. And some, um, it is relationship issues. Um, so maybe for some, you are the um, cheater, uh, the, the chronic cheater, whoever you are, younger, acquiring, chronic cheater. And that could be the relationship issues. Um, if you are that person and you want to marry, I think you want to marry this person, chronic cheater, younger Aquarius, because you know they're very loyal. You know they're very loyal. You, I don't, I think you know they won't cheat on you. But yet you feel the audacity and the high ego that you can cheat on them. Um, if that resonates for you, I'm serious. I have one younger Aquarian in here that loves to cheat. But whoever you want to marry, I feel they are very monogamous and very loyal. But you know they are. Nay, nay. That's going to bite you in the ass, man. Whoever you are, masculine or femme, I'm serious. Okay? Just saying, just saying. Okay? So, who, uh, so whoever this is for, some it's um, serious home issues, um, some kind of serious home issues, energy. Some it is relationship energy. Uh, whatever that is, whether you're the chronic younger Aquarian energy or you are somebody else. And for some, it is um, uh, uh, what was the other one? Oh, work, serious, serious, serious work issues. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spring. A particular Aquarius feminine is about to reconnect with the Scorpio soon. Very soon. It will be great for a, a little while. Absolutely great. But then it's going to fall apart. In a way you would have never expected. Scorpio masculine. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, you're an Aquarius femme, and I heard you're going to reconnect with the Scorpio masculine. Um, I feel for some, you could have dated this person in the past, or you could have been a friend of the, them in the past, or you could have been, it's some kind of reconnection of the past energy. You know them. It could have been a former co-worker, co former uh, pers um, person you grew up with, but you, you have positive mem memories of them, and you really like them. I heard it's going to be freaking fantastical at the beginning, like love bombing energy, possibly for some. For some, just like, always together like two peas in a pot energy but i heard it's going to fall apart and it's going to fall apart quickly in a way you would have never expected so spring energy that's now um now we're march 20 2022 what's wrong okay 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 are you okay okay you want to sit down okay um here, hold on, y'all. I'll be right back, okay? Here, sit down. Here, sit down. Here, sit down. Okay. Here, let me finish this reading. Okay? You're okay. You're okay. Okay, so let me finish this reading. Cycles. Cycles are about to be stuck for a particular Aquarius in a huge way, in a way they would have never expected. For some, someone's trying to entrap you in a marriage, and it's going to be successful. For some, it's other ways. So you plug it in how it resonates. So somebody's trying to entrap an Aquarius in a marriage. I heard they're going to be successful. For some of you guys, it's um, some other type, type of way. You're about to be stuck in some shape, form, or fashion. So if you plug it in, how it resonates. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Uh, 
Amusement park energy coming for some. Some telling the truth finally. Okay, I heard amusement park energy for some of you guys, and for some you're telling the truth finally. Telling the truth about something. Person, people, place, family, situation, etc. However that resonates. Obstacles to overcome. A particular Aquarius is about to have huge obstacles to overcome, and a particular Aquarius lawyer is about to, Aquarius placements, is about to win a case. It's been a long road. Okay, so you plug it in. Through many shocking series of chain of events, soon. Okay, whoa. So through many shocking series of chain of events, soon. So a particular Aquarius lawyer, heavy Aquarius placements, is about to win a case soon. So you're a lawyer. Um, you can have Aquarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts, but through some kind of mini shocking series of chain events, you're about to win a case soon. And for another Aquarius, you're about to have huge obstacles to overcome in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, how would that resonate for you? Okay. All right, you guys, I got to get off of here. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped, and namaste.